sensitization, habituation, and classical conditioning. The theory of learning requires the analysis of the correlations between stimuli and reactions. The understanding of these connections helps to identify their role in human life. Sensitization, habituation, and classical conditioning are the learning processes that help to explain human behavior. Sensitization is the learning process associated with the intensified reaction to the stimulus. Habituation is the process of learning that is connected with the reduction in response to some stimuli. The illustration of the first process can be the reaction to bullying in school. Mainly, I know the student that experiences intimidation and mockery and begins to react to the other student's attempts to communicate as a threat even when the other schoolmates intend no harm. An example of habituation is the absence of reaction to the new environment by the new student that came to our school. Classical conditioning is the learning process that concerns the formation of association when the stimuli become combined and produce a specific response. The principles of this process help to explain different types of conduct of people. According to Crutzen and Peters, classical conditioning is one of the aspects that allows people to adapt to life in different conditions. For instance, this process occurs among my friends when one of them reacts positively to another person because the individual wears the same type of clothes, which becomes a stimulus to respond accordingly. In addition, classical conditioning can be observed when my friend associates a specific district with a negative experience he had in the past, expecting some misfortune. Thus, the learning processes of sensitization, habituation, and classical conditioning allow psychologists to describe people's behavior. Sensitization is the form of learning that explains why people's reactions may be too intense. Habituation, on the contrary, reveals why people respond too reservedly. Classical conditioning allows psychologists to comprehend how the response may depend on conditions.